Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically Virginia linebacker Micah Kaiser. Uh, this video is going to get into his analytics profile, so we're going to look at him from a production standpoint and from an athleticism standpoint and come to some sort of conclusion about what his potential is at translating to the next level uh, in terms of his potential, whether he has Pro Bowl potential, starter potential, or even all pro potential. Uh, so that's what this video is really going to entail, is looking at him from an analytics perspective. And if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you don't know what solo tackle market share is, if you're not familiar with, with what a speed score is, or flexibility score, or explosive or body strength score is, all those terms and definitions will be in the description. Uh, to give you just a simple idea about the terms that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So, getting into his production data, uh, Micah Kaiser had a 95.57 solo tackle mark share production score. What this means is when you look at the All Pro threshold, which is every single multiple All Pro linebacker since the 1996 NFL draft class had at least a 90 or higher solo tackle production score and 100% of Pro Bowl linebackers, which are multiple Pro Bowl linebackers, linebackers that had at least three Pro Bowl considerations in their career, had at least a 77 or higher score. And when you look at Micah Kaiser, he pretty much is above all those thresholds. He's above the All-Pro threshold and he's above the Pro Bowl threshold. This doesn't necessarily mean that he has the potential to be an All-Pro player or a Pro Bowl player, or let, that he's guaranteed to become an All-Pro player or a Pro Bowl player. It's just that every single All-Pro player and every single Pro Bowl player had at least that score or higher and Micah Kaiser is definitely within that range of where those other players were at in terms of his traits on paper. Uh, and then of course when you look at the average scores, average All-Pro score, average Pro Bowl score, and average starter score, Kaiser is not exactly above what the All-Pro average is of 96.95 out of 100, but he definitely is above what the Pro Bowl average score is of 88.36 in terms of solo tackle data and definitely above the starter threshold or starter average, excuse me, of 79.20. Uh, so based on paper, based on his production data, data Micah Kaiser tested really well. Uh, again, he's a guy that um, is at least above the minimum threshold for all pro potential, and he's also someone that is above the average score for Pro Bowl players in terms of his solo tackle data as well. So from a production standpoint, Micah Kaiser is pretty fantastic. Not only that, uh, when you get to his athleticism data, he had an 83.02 83 explosive lower body strength score, 78.02 speed score, and 85.05 uh, flexibility score. Uh, based on my data, since the 1999 NFL draft class, at least, at least when it comes to athleticism data, he doesn't quite have the, he doesn't quite hit the all pro threshold of 83.15 when it comes to all pro players. But he's definitely very, very close. Again, he had an 83.02 out of 100 versus 83.15, uh, which is very, very good. Uh, and then, of course, when you get to his speed score and his flexibility score, those are all above the bottom and threshold for all pro potential. So in many ways, Mikey Kaiser pretty much hits every single bottom and threshold for all pro potential in terms of him as an athlete. Now, when you get to the averages at the position, so this is the, again, when you look at the other uh, side of the of the uh, of uh, the data here, the the all pro averages he doesn't quite hit those areas. So again, the average explosive lower body strength score for an all pro player is 89.95, 92.06 is the speed score average, and then 85.56 is the flexibility. So Mike Kaiser doesn't quite hit the averages of an all pro player. He definitely hits the above the averages of a Pro Bowl player, and of course the averages of a starter player. Uh, so in many ways, Micah Kaiser has the minimum threshold or minimum athleticism requirements for an all-pro player. And not only that, has above what the average score scores are for a Pro Bowl player based on his athleticism data. Uh, so essentially, Micah Kaiser tested really well as an athlete, uh, which is basically what all of this is to say. And on top of that, when you look at his production data, as I mentioned before, very, very good in terms of his solo tackle data coming out. And because of that, I would say Micah Kaiser is probably one of the most underrated linebackers in this particular draft class. Uh, hits everything from a production standpoint, hits everything from an athleticism standpoint. And although I, I, I would be very surprised if he went on to become a multiple all-pro player, because this is not someone that I think is going to be drafted in the first round. 
uh, or even drafted day two. I mean, there is a very good chance he could be drafted day two, but that just depends. That's that's a totally different subject. That's for that's for other people to answer that question. Guys that have more connections than I do, you know, in terms of uh, figuring out what teams are going to do in terms of drafting. But I think basically why I wanted to get this video out there is that Micah Kaiser is just that linebacker that when you look at his all the data, he's a guy that looks like a very, very good linebacker, a guy that could go on to become a high quality linebacker at the next level. And I think he would be a great value pickup in day two or even day three, considering what the market says about him and those other sort of things. Uh, bottom line is, check out Micah Kaiser. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.